what is up guys this is boy justin or also known as q on youtube bring you guys another video this video is going to be me playing some fortnite solos for one hour and see how much i can improve and notice what i did wrong to help you guys be able to do the same thing without further ado let's get back into it and i apologize for not posting videos for a while but i'm gonna get right back into it all right so for this video i did land holly hedges for every single game so that i get the same exact experience from each game and so i can really basically have most things alike as possible i know that it's rng based but right here i did hear a guy landing late so i made sure to go look for him because he didn't have a gun you know get an easy first kill and i know this is not arena i'm going to be doing videos on that next season because it starts tomorrow and there really wasn't a point of stopping her i'm starting it right now and then i get a couple more kills i just throw some nades nades aren't in arena so i'm not really worried about that that was just an easy kill i know that people are fighting so it's basically free so right here, I'm headed to Sweaty Sands because I want to get as many kills as possible. Get into many fights as possible, so I'm W King people. I don't know what those guys were doing, but they look kind of looked like they were teaming a little bit. But I, I lasered one and I hit one for like 39. I build fighting this guy and I established height. I wasn't playing too aggressive. Um, I did want to go for peace control. I attempted, but it wasn't very much success. And he basically just hit the whole time for now. So I look back at the other guy. Cause I figured the other guy's been probably doing some sneaky as he was. Got him to absolutely one shot and he hid. I could have pressured that, but I didn't have an AR. What I should have done was naded it because I did have nades. And obviously that's my fault for not having the awareness of what I had in my inventory and used it to my benefit. But right here, I know I didn't have that many mats, so I disengaged and he chased. I honestly thought he was going to land on top and AR down, so a lot of people do that, but he actually was going for the wall, which I could have done more with that, but again, that's awareness. My awareness is pretty bad, and I'm chasing this guy down, getting shots. One thing I want to notice right here is the amount of time I took on that shot right there. After I build this floor, I could have shot right there, but I slowed down, and I had to make sure I took the perfect shot possible to get the most damage, and... This guy is so low, I'm starting to panic. I'm rushing my shots, and I die. He fell through the hole. I wasn't prepared for that. Zero mats, and I was rushing my shots when I had very few shots in my shotgun. He played it better than me. I should have acted more calm and relaxed, and that was the end of game one. Game one, what I really could have changed about the whole scenario was my awareness. It seemed that I was trying to predict the enemy and I was predicting them in the wrong spot and then I wasn't taking my time on the shots that I needed to. Other than that, I was doing stuff pretty well. It's just those takeaways, take away whatever you can and it'll make you improve. And yeah, let's hop into game two. Right here, there's not really much to say except for I got on top of my house to go ahead and get a kill and that dude gets double dinked with a green AK. I should have hit my sniper shot, I don't know how I didn't. As I go over here to get this guy's loot, I do hear someone in the house, but my awareness is pretty bad. I thought he was inside the house and really he was on top. I play protected, I hit my shot, and I do my best to do as much damage as possible because he did have shield. Like I said, again, playing as protective as possible. I know I only, don't, I only have one more build left. And get another shot right there. I cracked him right there. And I know I didn't have any builds, so I was trying to play safe. So I went and hit a little bit and started to farm up. I didn't put my med kit on for a reason because I knew if he heard that, he would come and rush me. Right there, I miss, but I knew there was that window there. I was trying to play as safe as possible. Cracked him, hit him for 34, boom, dead. I played that as safe as possible, and I didn't see too much more that I could have done right. Considering the fact that I didn't have any shield or mats, so he had the upper hand. It's something that a lot of people don't do, which you should really do, you should think about it. But my goal right here, I knew I was going to be in storm for a second. I knew circle was not that far away. So I decided to take the storm damage and hit one of the slurp trucks. Sometimes there is a glitch where a slurp truck disappears, but there is two of them. And so the other one is over there. I ended up hitting that and I get out of the storm and I also get some bouncers out of it, which is really nice. Don't be afraid to take storm damage if you know that you'll be able to because I had two med kits. So even if the slurp truck wasn't here, I would have been perfectly fine. The zone now and I hear two people fighting and so I take a look, try to get the free kill, miss my sniper shot, and then hit him for 86 and I get the kill. And then I start pushing this guy because I know I'm a 
100, 100, and I don't know how much he has. Predict that he wasn't going to build, get the nice shot off, and then I start pushing him. What I could have done right here is hit my shot for one, but taking a better right hand peek than what I did. And then also right here, my shotgun was reloaded. I need to be more aware of that. I'm lucky that he didn't get the shot off and ended up working in my favor. But right there, I need to be more aware of where I'm positioned when I'm making the right hand peek. Be more aware of how many shotgun bullets I have because a charge does not have as many as the other shotguns. So right here, everyone, the last two people in this lobby were playing extremely scared and I was doing my best to push them. I almost died because I messed up my stare edit and my resets. So I need to get better at that. And also I need to be aware of how many mats I use because now I'm only on 500 wood and wood is really easy to spray through and that's what happens. And so at the end of game two, the only things I can really say about the game is I need to focus on being aware of my mats and also work on my stare edits because that did screw me over and I need to play a little bit more aggressive when it comes to end game because I could have won both of those fights, but I was playing a little bit scared and ended up screwing me. I figured why not go to this drop, get some more bounce pads, maybe some more shield, and I saw a guy going there, so I took time, hit the snipe, and then ended up shooting the wall. Didn't know I was going to right there, and I nade him to be annoying and be toxic, basically. But in the middle of this fight, my recording stopped, so I had to fix it mid fight and then so that's what I did. So I fixed it mid fight. This guy ended up getting away and then he was holding me down. I acted like I was about to go up. But I knew I didn't have that many mats. Shot him out trying to get a little bit of fall damage. Didn't get it. And so he was playing very protective. There was a lot of fights going on around us. So I go back, get a crystal very poorly. Should have been way faster at it. And then I hit him with that good stuff, you know, that nice little snap aim. Up getting the loot and saw another guy. Did my best to hit the shot, I hit the shot. I hit him for 70 white afterwards, like 78 white or something like that. So I'm playing extremely aggressive, extremely, extremely aggressive, using my bouncers that I have to get to him as fast as possible, making sure my guns are reloaded just in case I need them. Mess up my bouncers, so that's one thing, get better at building and placing bouncers. I end up phasing through, but we end up killing, or we end up killing them, which is really good. We get a gold tack out of it, and a lot of match. So we're right that we're stacked right there. We are rushing everybody in this game. Slow, trying to figure out where the rest of everyone in the end game is, playing it as protected as possible. I see someone fighting there, I see two people fighting over there, and I just try to play it as smart as possible. And right here, I don't even go for the drop. I'm not worried about the drop. Um, I want, I want these kills. I really want these kills. Because I have 150 health, it'd be nice to get like a 50 pot. I hear someone fishing. Take the shot, miss it. I tag him for 35 blue. He ends up pushing me. I didn't think he was going to push me. Because he ran away from a fight. My sniper didn't shoot. Which sucks. But he pushes me. Crack him for 61. We're trying to get the peace control as much as possible. Right there, I should have put a wall above and a wall behind. But I only put one. I wasn't thinking about that. Hit him for 20. Get height over the cheeky shot almost got peace controlled he dropped down easy kill i played it smart i could have played it smarter though so right here i go for the third party on a fight this guy just happened to be literally a two shot which is really nice so i go over there to get that loot not because i need it but because it was towards zone and just go for the loot why not and this guy tries to take it himself Tag him for 35, and I'm playing this super aggressive just because of the amount of mats I have. I ended up cracking him right there, as you can see. I sprayed with my AR instead of my shotgun. I did way more damage than I thought I would. I tried using my bouncers to get a quick, easy shot on him. And right there, I'm messing up my peace control. I had peace control. And this guy is just playing extremely protective. Bucket beamed out of the air. Now it's a 1v1. So one of the guys I did kill did have a 50 pot, so I put that on in a bush. He had more bouncers, I just see that now. I need to be more aware of that. I didn't know that guy had more bouncers right there, or I would have grabbed him. But right here, this guy's boxed up in zone, playing it safe, messing up my builds, but still trying to play it safe, protected. Hit him for 104 with a snipe, so I just build on over. It's a 1v1, and I'm very confident because I just hit him for 105. 
There he is, hit him for 61, cracked him again. Lost him. I'm playing it safe still. I'm not underestimating this guy. Just playing it really aggressive. There he is, hiding. I end up winning the game with nine kills. Pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, to wrap up all my games, I need to get better at my awareness of being aware of how many mats and where my opponent is and what he is planning to do. And also I need to play more aggressive. I have the building mechanics and the aim to do so. I just don't do it for some reason. So W keying is what I'm going to be doing for the next few videos because that is what I need to do to improve. So thank you guys for watching the video. I do hope you guys did enjoy. If there's any type of videos that you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I am going to be doing this in Arena after the new season drops. I'm going to try to do this every day for an hour and then show you guys how much you can actually improve by playing solos. Because if you didn't know, playing solos makes you a 10 times better player because you can critique everything that you do. You don't necessarily have to record like I'm doing. If you turn on replays, you can do the same exact thing after each game that you play. But you just need to play solos. Play some solos. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe because I'm going to be posting more videos and let me know what I can do better. And yeah, if you end up killing me in one of these games, let me know in the comments below. See ya.